Hey guys, Ronald Geek here. Welcome to my channel. And today I had a nostalgic moment to take a time to remember the past. Devices that we all may have used or have had in the past or um, have thrown away. So let's take a look. This is not in chronological order, but this is what I found in my little tech drawer. Excluding the new ones, of course. So for current gen, I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I think we're all current with that one. Um, the Google Pixel 7 Pro, that's been pretty cool. And here, I don't know if you guys remember the HTC Windows Phone. I think it was, this was the 8X, if I remember. It's been a while. I don't know if I had the charger, but it looks like a micro USB charger when that was installed. But good thing about these phones, when they first came out, they all had the Beats Audio, so you had superb bass quality. That was simulated from the software, but Man, it was it was a beast. And I just missed the Windows tiles that came with it back then. I wonder whether it's still power on. Let's see if I can give it a power. And maybe not. Now, I was using this phone up until I think they discontinued it and no one will actually activate it. It is unlocked, so it may still work because I think we still have some towers that still use 4G LTE on the backbone, while 3G has been retired. So let's put this aside. And the next one we have, I think we all know is, uh, oh, well, let's start with this one, next one. The iPhone 6, pretty current. One, one of Apple's highest selling iPhones. I mean, this was very popular back then until, you know what, screen separation. That's what killed this phone. Extensive heat, screen separated, and it was done. But a great phone by Apple. Not bad at all. And then I don't know if you guys remember the Blackberry, Blackberry's attempt with the Android. This has also was LTE 4G. And I believe this was uh I don't know if you guys remember the name of this phone. I can't remember. It's been a while. Was it the Blackberry? Let's see, look. Removal battery, that's pretty rare. <laughs> and it doesn't tell me. It says research in motion, Blackberry STL. I'm sure I'll get it when I Google it, but I'm gonna leave it just for now. I see, I see the name in my head, but I just can't remember the name of the phone. But we had micro USB, looks like a, an output for H, micro HDMI output as well. So Research in Motion was pretty popular back then. Great phones. I love the Blackberries. So those are good times. AT&T. So this was uh, one of the Windows phones as well. Had a keyboard out as well. I love this Windows Mobile. This is pretty cool. I think back in high school in my days, <laughs> probably showing my age, but this is pretty standard. You had the, this com it was comparable, comparable to the T-Mobile Sidekick at the time. You could text, you could talk, touch screen. I think this had a stylus as well. Yep, I didn't lose the stylus, so that's still intact. And I wonder, will it power on? Definitely not likely, these are all dead. Look at some kind of mini USB charging. Looks like it also had a micro SD card on the bottom there. Great device. I think it's the Windows Mobile HTC 8125 model. Look at that, three megapixel compared to today. Look at that. And it had GPS, so great device at the time. Thank you, AT&T, AT &T, and thank you, HTC as well. And here's my one of my favorites, Palm Trio 650. So Palm eventually got bought out by HP, but Palm, man, what a great company. What a great device. Palm has Ohm OS. They tried to make a comeback before with uh, WebOS, but that died out. But man, this was a phone back then. This was the BlackBerry. I want to say killer, but very competitive, very good competitor to BlackBerry. And this one, oh, look at that. Still has power. It looked like they still had a charge. If I go to the home screen. So press center key to unlock. Let's see. Okay, look at that. That's amazing. Man, these phones were awesome back then. I love the UI. That's pretty cool. So I notice I keep pressing the end button there and it turns it off. So that's 
part of the key guard to activate the key guard. So let's press in the button to unlock. I did. And okay. Maybe I'm not pressing it hard enough. Oh, there it goes. Look at that hot sync. Look at the camera. Man, that's pretty amazing. I miss you, Trio. If they could bring back these phones with 5G, I would be, I would buy it. I would totally buy it. But definitely want the removable battery. Let's go to another phone as well. I don't know if you guys all remember Motorola and their Nextel line. Oh my gosh. The chirping, the walkie talkie feature, GPS. It's so simplistic. And to be able to text with this, text with this all day was easy. I remember my old phone prior to this one, it would wore out because of the heavy usage, but these phones will last forever. Remove a battery, they could take a beating. Not sure they're waterproof, but this one lasted for a while. Let's see if I get a power on this one. This is the Motorola i580. And yeah, that's probably dead. That was probably in my drawer for too long. Maybe a little charge for the battery? Yeah, not likely, but man. So these phones were all phased out when Sprint bought Nextel. Nextel got bought by some special government. The technology, the PTT, got bought out and technology went to the private sector for government use. And we lost use of it. <coughs> Great device. Now before that was the PDAs. And before this one, I had a iPack that I lost, but this is a Dell. This one is a Dell Axiom. Looks like the 850V. I think I saw the stylus on here. Yep, stylus still there. And again, another Windows mobile device, removable battery. This was the thing to have back in uh, college <laughs> quite some time ago. I hope I still have a charge on this one. Probably not, but let's see. Yep, no charge, but man, great device. I don't know if you guys had this one back then. Let's go way back. This is one of my first, probably the second firm. So before I had a Nokia, I think it was a 3390, one of the black and green screens, but this one was my first color screen phone. This is Sprint. So Samsung A50, I believe. Let's see. I think it was the A50. Let's take a look. This battery pops out still. Yeah, SPH A5, A500, man, what a great device. So this is probably the first phone I had that was getting uh, color. I remember when this first came out, you had a color screen, although small, but you could see your text much in color, it was amazing. And then color screen took over. I mean, this is an amazing phone. Let's see if we still get a little charge to it. And most likely, not really. So it's probably, maybe the trio is still being used. I'm surprised it had a charge still. Yeah. But what a great device. That took me through high school. And before that, <laughs> we can't forget the StarTac. Motorola StarTac. This was used on Verizon and other carriers. What a great device as well. Look at that. It gives me these pager vibes. You have your, your earpiece here, your microphone there. I think you had a little camera here, if I believe. Can't remember. Not a, not a camera, but some LED lighting. It's been a while. And I wonder if I got any power to this at all. I know I have the charger still somewhere around. So the question would be, how did the power back up? And... I'm sure the battery's pretty dead. Yeah, but this is more Star Trek. I think it was, I can't even say 2G. It must have been before that, 1X possibly. But this was a phone and a half back then. You had to flip. You didn't have the bar phone anymore. It, it was pretty cool. You were pretty cool back then if you had this. Great device. Definitely one of my, keep, my keepers here for my collectible. And that's it, guys. So what phones did you guys have back then? And what was your favorite? Out of all of these... Aside from the Nokia, I don't have in the table. That was one of my favorites. I'm going to say the Trio 650 is still one of my best favorites to like to use. I would still use if I if it still worked, but um, this is a great device. I love the form factor. It's small, portable. 
got the job done. If they could bring it back, that'd be great. I would buy. Thanks, guys, for watching. A little nostalgic moment. Round the Geek here. See ya. Thank you.